Hey guys and welcome to the seventh episode on our Android TV box buying guide and for those of you that are new to the channel I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check out all the topics that we have covered so far and hopefully will help to decide which hardware which accessories and so on and so forth. Now that being said the topic of today is if we can use our Android TV boxes for Skype with a webcam and this video is sponsored by NordVPN a VPN service available for almost any platform with servers in 56 countries at an affordable price check out the link below for more details and we are back now for those of you that have read the title and watched the thumbnail you already checked out that it's possible to use an android tv box uh, with a webcam and skype so that we can talk with our loved ones uh, which sometimes are far away from us and uh, instead of using a tablet or a phone which has a small screen we can use probably our living room tv which is much bigger and instead of having just one person talking to another person we can have two entire families or one person talking to a whole family well there's a lot of scenarios so this is something that is really interesting and i have had a lot of questions in the past so uh, that's the reason that i've put this uh, topic on the Android TV box buying guide. Now moving straight to the point so that we don't waste a lot of time here. Guys, uh, for all the tests that I've made so far, there is something that we need to take uh, attention to. And at this moment, if you want something to have Skype with a webcam, I would not go for the Android TV OS. For those of you that are not familiar with these terms, Android TV OS and pure Android, check out the playlist and you will see the differences. And just to tell you that at this moment with the Mi Box 3 and the two NVD Shield TVs that I've got here, the 2016 and 2017, I can't use Skype with a webcam. I can use Skype but only for uh, sounds and text messages but uh, it will not work with a webcam. Now as you guys are watching on screen uh, one of the tools that I use to test on any box is just to download open camera app which is basically a camera app uh, and will turn on our webcam when connected which in this particular case i'm using the logitech c920 but we will talk a little bit about uh, webcams in just a few moments now guys as you can see on the images i can get uh, the camera working but only on the app once i open skype on any android tv box with android tv os in this particular case as i said uh, nvd shield tv and mi box 3 as you guys can see skype will not detect the webcam and as such will not work with uh, image now one of the reasons is that because the skype application is not made for android tv os at least at the moment of the recording and this will have a few issues being one of them not being capable of working with webcams at least the ones that i've got now if we move to uh, pure android tv boxes and i'm sure that you already are watching something on screen as you guys can see i can do the same which is to connect a webcam in this particular case once again my logitech c920 and i did test uh, four machines so far the minix u9h the probox 2 ava the probox 2 air plus and the we take play 2 and four out of four did work flawless so this just gives me uh, uh, at this moment one scenario which is four pure android tv boxes played perfectly with skype and a webcam and two actually this particular case three the nvd shield tv 2016 2017 and the mi box 3 did not work what they all have in common on the side that does not work is android tv os and what they all have in common on the side that they work is pure Android. So right now for those of you that are looking for a setup uh, to use everything that you want to use on an Android TV box plus Skype with a webcam then my answer at this moment is to go with any Android TV box with pure 
Android. Now, truth be told that I didn't test all the boxes that I've got right over here and there are quite a few. And honestly, I'm not going to the past uh, to check out all of them. But with this, uh, with these four, I can have this scenario that uh, I have no reason to doubt that any other TV box will not work. What I will do is that in the future, I will make this test a standard when reviewing the Android TV boxes so I can give you feedback uh, if they work or not. Now, hopefully you have seen some images there, some interesting, some less interesting, but I did test around alone and I also played around with my kids. They were using my wife's iPads on the living room and I was having some fun with them. Uh, so you can see I have audio, I can have video through the webcam and so on and so forth. So works great, no issues at all with these machines. Now, some of you will be asking, hey Robert, but Logitech C920, that's an expensive webcam and it is, guys. So if you ask me, Robert, which uh, uh, webcam should I get? At this moment, my answer has to be Logitech. I've tested with another webcam that I've got. I don't recall the uh, name or the brand, but it's a cheap webcam and I'll post the links down below. Actually, I'll post down below everything that did work and everything that did not work so that you guys can check out. But there are some Logitech webcams that are really cheap and I'll post some links down below as well. So instead of purchasing a C920 like myself, uh, which I do use that webcam for several things, including to record some videos and I do require a little bit more of quality, but for Skype and anything will basically work. Now, we want the best quality possible, but we will find uh, some Logitech webcams that will cost 15 to 20 euros that will have the same quality that we find on any tablet, which personally, it's enough for a Skype call. And that is it, guys. So basically, at this moment, what we want is a pure Android TV box and a Logitech webcam so that we can have this uh, scenario or this setup in terms of of Skype with a webcam. Now, for those of you that already have an Android TV box, great, all you need now is a Logitech webcam, which will work on your Android TV box. And for those of you that already have a Logitech webcam and don't have any Android TV box, then this is a good time uh, to get one for yourself. Hopefully, I do imagine so if you have that need. And that is it. Now, this video is especially for those of you that have been asking, hey, Robert, bring that uh, topic to the channel. Here it is, the results that I've got and any other questions that you guys have as usual, just drop them down below. Also share your experience uh, with this kind of setup. If you use Skype, if you do use it on an Android TV box, do you find it interesting or not? All sorts of uh, things that you guys usually share here on the community. And that is it. Hope that this video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and I'll see you guys on the next one.